Hey, what's happening everybody? So I had a question on one of my videos on exactly how my lab setup was set up. So I'm going to go ahead and explain it here. Everything that you see here in blue is the actual lab setup. These purple links are the cables running from, these are pretty much the, the console cables. So this is running to the console port of each of the switches going to this terminal server. And this red section is my uh, is my home network. So this is essentially how it's set up. I've got my INE um, switching uh, topology here, switch one, two, three, four, with uh, the cross box, and then I have port zero one that is trunking over to port two of my ESXi server, which hosts all of the CSR one thousand Vs in the cloud. Now. The second NIC card on here, or the first NIC card, um, uh, this actually is in dot one. This is actually dot two fifty. Um, two fifty. Um, so this is the IP address of this NIC card, dot two fifty. The Digi is dot two hundred, and then of course my PC is right here to manage all of, to manage the Digi uh, terminal server and the ESXi server. So let me go ahead and. Um, open this up so my digi server is this one here it's a DG uh, CM32 essentially it's just a terminal server that it has some Ethernet cables on the back you just plug them to the console port and then you just configure uh, this is the management interface uh, this is my IP addresses um, of course this is not correct but it doesn't really matter uh, I just set it up real quick I could actually just say that one. Um, you go ahead and do the go through the setup. Uh, I believe I just uh, opened up a. Let's see. I think I went through serial port configuration. So port one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So of course, right here, I'm just using port one through four, and it's port seven thousand one, seven thousand two, three, and four. So if we go over to uh, my secure CRT switch one, uh, you'll see that I'm connected to uh, one nine two one six eight seven seven two hundred, which is the IP of the Digi, and it's port seven thousand one and that's exactly where I have my switch one connected to. Two is connected to 702, 7002 and etc etc. My ESXi server is pretty much a server but it has um, I forgot exactly the configuration I have as far as the hard drives go um, but this is essentially what I have here. Uh, I believe I have two um, 136 gigabyte um, hard drives on RAID 0. So this is what I have and this is running all of my uh, this is running a VMware ESXi where it's running the uh, software for the CSR 1000 V's. So let me pull up my uh, this is the vSphere client that is used to manage the uh, VM environment. Of course you have to go through the uh, the setup process. INE has a really good video on how to set up the CSR 1000 V's, get the VMs up and running. I also have a Windows XP machine here um, that is pretty much just for pack packet capturing and, and doing things like that. The biggest thing that I that I get a lot of questions on is uh, how do I configure the networking on it? And this is something that I just recently uh, figured out. I, I took a couple days to learn a little bit about ESXi and uh, I was able to figure this part out. So while clicking on the actual server here uh, this dot .250 is the IP address. Of course uh, during the configuration process of the VMware ESXi you have to manage manually put in that IP address you go to the configuration tab and under networking you'll see this 
Um, so first you'll start off with only a V-Switch 0 and all of your um, VMs when you add them in will all be on V-Switch 0. Now this virtual machine uh, port group uh, or I'm sorry the VMware uh, kernel port is essentially just your management port so you need to have this and the recommendation uh, is that you have your VM kernel uh, plugged in uh, to switch zero or V switch zero so as you can see this is the uh, NIC one which is the uh, the network card here oh, oh, NIC zero which is two so this here is um, the reason I put one and two is because I'm counting from left to right looking at the back of my switch but that doesn't necessarily match up here but VMNIC0 uh, here is the one going over to the um, my lab my or my home network so that's why it has the 77.250 like it does right there I also have the Windows XP machine with two NIC cards and the reason why is because I want to have internet access so I went ahead and put this one also on vSwitch 0. I created a secondary vSwitch uh, with where I just pretty much put all of the other uh, I put every single device uh, routers 1 through 20 uh, on Windows XP and I created a new port group uh, called the INE Lab Port Group or PG. So let me look at the properties here uh, you'll see this one has uh, pretty much the default configurations here uh, there's no promiscuous mode enabled or nick teaming or anything like that it is just the the v-switch is pretty much just configured exactly like, like the way it is however for this v-switch one that I'm using for the lab environment I did have to configure uh, this uh, port group to have uh, the VLAN, VLAN ID of all so this is because this link here is a trunk so this one's going to be carrying all the VLANs that the CSRs are going to have so that's the reasoning for that and under security I enabled promiscuous mode and I accept it uh, rather than reject and the reason you want to do that is so you can ping between uh, the devices so and you can also do uh, packet captures with your uh, uh, with my Windows XP machine here everything else is the same so essentially that's that's really all that I had to do as far as uh, getting my lab set up uh, if you guys have any other questions uh, if you really want me to uh, post a video on exactly how I got um, you know these routers up and going and created the um, the VMs here. It's actually a really simple process um, but if you want me to make a video just let me know and I'll go ahead and do that. So hopefully this gave you a better idea of how my lab is set up for INE CCIE lab. Uh, hope you all are having a good day and I'll talk to you all later. Bye bye.